Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with a template that I saved from a previous lesson. And I'm right clicking on HTML template and I'm going to do open with notepad. Okay, so this gives me my source code and I make sure that everything is correct. It looks like I have a body and an end body and a head and an end head and there's a title in there. Basically, I do this so that I don't have to type all of this stuff every time. All right. So, if I'm going to go ahead and start here trying to put in some CSS. The first thing we're going to try is inline CSS. And inline CSS is something that you do right obviously in line. So if you want something changed here, um, you can put it in. Now, I typically try to not use it in this manner because the whole the point and power of CSS is that you can change one piece and it changes the rest of the page or in some cases you change one file and it changes all of your pages. All right, so in this case, we're going to go ahead and type in a paragraph, P for paragraph, style equals, and notice I'm putting it inside the body, between the body tags. All right, style equals background dash color. And then we're going to use this hex code, which typically, like, you, the first two is red, and the next two is green, and the next two is blue RGB okay and whoops semicolon because I want to add another tag here and that's color and then I'm gonna do say pound FF 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 alright now what this is going to do is set your background color to no red all green no blue and then the text color to all white all right, this paragraph is using, oh boy, an inline style. All right, now we'll do another one. This paragraph is not using an inline style. So you see it basically is the same thing. I didn't change anything. I didn't tell it to stop using a style, but when we end the paragraph, that ended the style. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save this now. So I'm going to open this with Internet Explorer. Right click, open with Internet Explorer. And I'm going to allow blocked content because I know it's safe. All right, so this paragraph is using inline style. This paragraph is not using inline style. Okay, but what if you want to pick other colors um, and you're not really sure what color you want? Well, there's a neat little tool called Pixie and you can download it from download.com. It's up to Pixie 3.1 at the time of this taping. And let me go ahead and demonstrate this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and run Pixie. And you see that as I move my cursor around my screen, this little box changes color. And if I move my mouse over the box, it tells me if I do Control Alt C, that copies the HTML. So if I go and say pick a color, maybe I want my background to be this shade of blue. Alright, so I'll pick the shade I want and I do Control Alt C. And if I go back into my notepad now and I set my background color and I paste. You see it pasted in this number. Alright, so if I move Pixie away now and I go ahead and file save and then I go back and refresh my page it has this background color which is exactly what I copied. So it's a neat little tool and it's really great if you're trying to match the edge of a photograph or something. Um, for example, if I had well, this isn't really a good example, but if I had a, a nice green top of a background or a, a sky blue, and I can click on that color, I can actually match the background of the web page and have it perfectly matched. All right, thanks a lot.